We are gonna dive into some of the highlights from episode three of Willow. It was an emotional one. Throughout this episode, almost every one of the characters is wrestling with their own self-doubt, except for Borman, who I adore, but definitely only seems out for himself. Kit discovers that she's not the great warrior that she thinks she is because Jade has been letting her win in their sparring matches all along. That first sequence in episode one gave us a lot of insight into their relationship. I like seeing their relationship unfolding, and it also gave us insight into their battling skills, which we see later on in this episode. Dove finally embraces her true identity of Laura Dannon when she encounters Hannah Waddingham from Ted Lasso. I absolutely loved the scene. Hubert and Anne were a great comedic duo, and Hannah Waddingham brought so much warmth and fun to her humble woodswoman character. I really wanted them to fight alongside her crew, but alas, Hannah is only a guest star, so we finally see that Willow is indeed a great sorcerer, but unfortunately, it comes at the price of Silas's mortal injury. Actors Graham Hughes and Warwick Davis have been a delight on screen. We really get to see the history between these two characters, um, and I'm really sad that Silas is gone. Come on, Willow, couldn't she have just done some of that healing magic? Speaking of magic, Graydon seems to know a lot about the dark arts. Can I use that? That's like a Harry Potter thing. Okay. Has he been a sorcerer's apprentice in the past? How does he know so much about the dark side? Always got Star Wars on the brain. I can't handle another death in this show, so somebody better heal Tony Rivalori in the next episode. We also got our first look at Nakmar, and it looks way scarier than I remembered it. This show has done an outstanding job blending stunning visual effects with prosthetic makeup and practical effects like the were rats. These creatures felt so true to the 1988 Willow movie and a little bit like the Princess Bride, so you know, I love them. Would I want to see them in a darkened cave? No. Shout out to the sound department for creating some epic sound effects, specifically with the weapons in this episode. What's remarkable about this cast is that they are so adept at balancing gripping emotional drama with comedy. And that's what I love about this show. Yeah, it has sweeping visuals and it's in the high fantasy genre, but it's still lighthearted and fun. It's clear the actors all enjoyed working together because they have such great camaraderie on screen. It's very natural, it's very authentic. I would love to be a part of this group. I wouldn't want to fight those bad guys, but I'd love to go to a tavern or an inn and hang out. Although maybe not the slaughtered lamb. Anyways, what do you guys think? Are you watching this show? We're only three episodes in. There is still time to jump in our wagon and join us. <laughs> although we don't have a wagon after episode three, that's all right. We'll travel by foot. And in the meantime, I'm gonna practice my uh, Hagwa Athrakmora Tawatha. No, wait, shoot, that's wrong. <laughs>